All right, here we have, as I told you, a little cemetery, Pioneer Cemetery. Now, as you can see, vandals are still up here. If you look inside, you see the tombstone. Tombstones are generally made out of marble. And what happens is the vandals would come, knock over the tombstones, the tombstones would break. So this one we still have preserved because it's the best looking one. We put in cement and there it is. Now other members of the Bach and the Pena families are buried here farther up the hill. However, we don't go there. We don't talk about it because basically we want to respect them. And you can see what happens if people knew where they were buried. Now behind me, if you turn around and you follow that noisemaker, and if you put your fingers up like this at the end of the noisemaker and look over here at your opposite hand, the opposite finger here, that is where Andrews Park is. Now Andrews Park used to be known as Boot Hill because Vacaville really didn't care for the people who died. If you had money, you were buried in the Sylvieville Cemetery, which is now outside Dixon, right next to the Mayfair ground. So that's why you see a lot of the Bacchus and the Peñas are buried there. Again, they didn't really care, so they just dumped people here in Boot Hill. Now, when they started developing Andrews Park, they put the high school and all that in there, they came across all these bodies. What do we do with them? Well, those people that would claim the body or somebody who knew who was buried there are now buried in the Pioneer Cemetery in Bacaville. The rest are still there. So when they start excavating for something happening, guess what? Come across bones. Again, Boot Hill. All right, can anybody tell me what's growing on these rocks? Not moss. Lichen. Anybody know the story of lichen? Right. Lichen is composed of two materials. One's a fungus, the other's an algae. Now, what we have here is fungus. It is able to attach itself to trees, rocks, things like that. So it provides a very good foundation. However, the fungus is unable to make its own food. So living in the fungus is the algae. And the reason why I have different colored lichens, we have different types of algae. The algae makes the food and so it lives again with the fungus. Remember the other parasite we had? The Foradenum velosum, again, living in symbiosis. So we have Alice algae and Freddy fungus living in symbiosis. Now, there was a young British female botanist at the turn of the last century. Not this one, the previous one. And she discovered lichen. Of course, she was a female. And in Britain at that time, women were stupid. They weren't scientists. They couldn't write anything like this because she wanted to present her paper at the Royal Academy of Science, and she was turned down. Again, female. So she got a male friend of hers to present the paper. They thought that was a crock. Two different things living like that? No way. Later on, of course, she was proved right. But she was so disheartened at this, she gave up botany, decided to write books about a rabbit. Anybody tell me who this might be? Right, Beatrix Potter discovered lichen, and she wrote about Peter Rabbit. As they say, the rest is history.